Hi there YouTube, I hope you're all safe and well. I want to just briefly describe my experience with mechanical keyboards. This is my recent keyboard. This is a Magic Force 68 key, has brown switches, which means good for gaming, not very clacky. Probably quite nice if you've got workmates who you constantly irritate. Um, it's very compact design, 68 key. doesn't have a row of function keys, which makes it quite fiddly because you have to do FN and key combos just to get special characters like uh, percentages, dollar signs, whatever. So if you're a coder, a bit fiddly. Good for gaming, though. I decided to treat myself and I've upgraded to a 83 key model. This was only £37. The 68 key was £29. So quite cheap, especially if you type a lot. And your improvement in accuracy when you're typing and your typing speed well makes it worth the investment. Bit of a no-brainer really. So I decided to treat myself and I ordered some nice keycaps. These came all the way from China. Took about a month to get here, but you know, I'm a patient soul. So I'd like to have a go at removing the current keycaps and replace them with these nice coloured ones. Uh, until I've been eating a lot of Monster Munch while I've been working, so, you know, I probably need to clean this keyboard. But I remember the first keyboards I used, this is way back in the era of the BBC Micro or Acorn Electron. It's probably dec decades before you were even born. But they had a nice mechanical keyboard. They all seemed to be beige for some reason. But uh, very satisfying to type away on them. Very clacky. So, yeah, I'll... Uh, change the caps over and show you the results. Okay, see ya. Well, as I said earlier, I do apologise about the disgusting state of this keyboard. Crumbs, mucky fingerprints, you name it. So let's first off, this is the key puller tool. Just even constant force and it pops off. So I'm going to do this row by row using a wire key puller here. Seems to grip it quite firmly. Just putting it round the sides of each key. And some of these keys have special functions but never use it. He'll control their email program or media player with their keyboard. Everybody's going to comment. Well, I do. Why don't you? Steaming ahead here. Oh, insert delete. That could be a problem because I've got an insert key and I've got a delete one. But who uses the insert key? It's just designed to be pressed by accident. So think delete key for that one. As you can see, you've got the nice blue switches here, which give them that nice clacky feel. I've got some isopropanol fluid here, also a cotton bud and a wipe. What I might do though, Let's just step on the cotton bud and just swab it round. Let's get all those crumbs out. Actually, the good thing about mechanical keyboards is they're not as much as a uh, crumb trap as others. You know, those keyboards that you rattle round and bang them upside down on your desk and the crumbs are still in there bottom of a toaster really. Right, so now this is quite exciting. I can put these straight on. 
just a firm press. If you have a look at the bottom, they've got a sort of Phillips screwdriver thing going on. Cross shaped and they just click in there. You're probably going to watch this being sped up. I'm not sure about the quality of the laser printing on here. Whether or not the ink will actually stand the test of time. So let's move on to the second row. I'm going to have to make a design choice here because this localized key is beige in the ISO choice. Uh, but blue on here, I think blue looks better. Um, so I only ever use this quote when I'm doing my SQL programming. Never use that double pipe one. I'm not sure what that is. Or that symbol there. So I never use those. So let's go for blue. And also I've done some of the localized keys such as the pound sign and the quotation mark, which is normally there. So let's uh, just pull these keys. See some crumbs already. Should have uh, got myself a can of compressed air. Quite good at uh, cleaning under keyboards. Can I do this in one go? Yay! It's not too bad. Let's notice the home key had a different option. At home or print screen. I think now Windows has the snipping tool. I don't really use the print screen, so let's go with home. Which I probably use in uh, spreadsheets. No place like home. No key like home. Like I said, the boring bits of the video are probably speed up. Play the Benny Hill theme song. like it. Now we're on the third row down. So you've got the tab and your QWERTY keys. It slows the typist down. I remember my mum had a 1927 Imperial typewriter where you hit the metal keys, the arms came down. And if you typed too quickly, the keys would get jammed together. So they thought, OK, what would be the most unfriendly combination of characters? And QWERTY was decided upon. But the true trouble is it stuck. People got very fast at typing on them. Early brackets and square brackets. Cool. Fourth row down. Very good at reaching this tool. Another localization change. Already, this is starting to look quite retro. Nice. Right, this enter key could be a bit of a challenge, but if I get these two off first. Page up, page down. Ah, had to do it by hand. Page up, page down. Just discovered something quite annoying. Because this has a compact shift key, 
the designed shift won't work so that will ruin the nice line the colors are making gonna have to go for a ding key shift key and then a beige pipe and backslash key so it'd be nice if they'd provided a uh, blue one of those but hey ho again important key so functionality wins really annoyed me about that because that would have been far better blue because that's a bit of part of a space raider crisp oh and onwards now we're cooking on gas have to do it by hand Oops. not surprising I thought there'd be a bar in there out in the function I used to call it the finna key okay. right, and arrows ones but we'll do those later see some of the uh, circuit board there It's win. I suppose you'd have command if you were using Mac OS or Linux. Alt. No. Control. So now we're doing the arrow keys, which are orange. Quite nice when you're gaming. I wonder if you could have done the WSA keys. I prefer doing that and controlling with my mouse. Awesome. Down. Up. Right. And it's quite ironic that it is the end key I finish with. That's looking quite nice. That would have been nice with blue. But, uh, so here's the finished article. Quite pleased. That was fun to do. I really enjoyed doing that. But uh, YMDK, if you are watching, can you do that key there in blue? It's really bugging me. <laughs> okay. As always, thanks for watching.